Let's make select menus. For select menus to work, make sure you have version 1.2.0 or above. So here I have a basic command, which simply responds with A. Hey. Let's define the menu and then set the custom ID. Then we can add an option using the add option method. We pass in a value and a label. The value is what we will receive back from Discord. The label is what the user sees. Then we make an action row and add the menu as a component using the add component method. Finally, we can pass in the row as a component. Let's test it out. Nice, this is the most basic menu. Let's store this message in the interactions. So yield the bot.send. And then we can store it in the main.interactions. You can store whatever data you need for this command, for now, I will only store the author's ID. Now to respond to the interaction, we first need to define the onReady method and onInteraction method for this command. I will copy and paste it from the template command. In the on interaction method, we first make sure the interaction is only of select menu by using the as select menu method. Then for testing, I'm printing the interaction data. Finally, using interaction.reply to respond to the interaction. Here you can see the data of a menu interaction. Values is an array of what the user selected. Let's add a few more options. The select menu also has methods like set min values and set max values which will set the number of items the user can select. Here I have to select a minimum of 3 options. Let me show you the max values. I will set the max values to 2. Now I cannot select more than 2 options. You can also set a custom placeholder, using the set placeholder method. You can optionally set a description or emoji for an option. Here I will set a description by passing a dictionary with description to the add option method. For the second option, I have given it a description and a custom emoji. Note that only custom emojis will work. That's it for the basics. Now I will show you two commands which I made using menus. The first is an infinite math game. When you run the command it sends a question and four options. If you choose the correct option, it adds to your score.
Here first I'm generating the question data. The gen question method returns a dictionary with a question, correct answer index and an array of answers. Then I'm keeping track of some data like author ID, tag, question number, number of correct answers, and question data. Then I send the message using a make message helper method. This method just returns a dictionary with embed and the select menu component. Now in the on interaction method, I'm accessing the custom ID and value of the menu. If the value is the same as the correct index, then I increment the number of correct answers. After this, data for the next question is generated and the message is updated with new question data. The second command showcases nested menus. Here there are two actions either set country or set languages. If you choose language, the message updates with the language select menu. If you choose country, then it updates with the country select menu. Here I have three flows set up, one for the main select, one for country select and last for language select. You can see each one has a title, color, and select menu. In the on message, initially, I set the flow to the main flow called set. This is again stored in main.interactions. Again we have a helper method make message which returns a dictionary with an embed and select menu. In the on interaction method, we have to handle each of the three select menus separately. Here I simply update the message showing the relevant information like which language or country was selected. That's it for this video. Like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one where we will see how to use slash commands.